Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Technology Bytes. I'm Naveen Balani. In this week's episode, we're talking about API security and some of the best practices around it. So API has become the de facto standard by making business functions available as open interoperable services that can be called by required application, be it mobile, web, IoT devices and so on. Now as these APIs are generally available publicly for integration, there is a greater need to ensure the APIs are secured, protected and most importantly any sensitive data that is transferred by these API calls needs to be encrypted, protected and in some cases compliant. For instance, payment card industry security standard for credit card transactions. For instance, if you are integrating with payment systems like Stripe, they provide APIs to create custom identity, short-lived security tokens and all credit card data are stored on their servers based on customer location for compliance and regulation purpose and you use the customer identity and security for carrying out payment transactions. So as part of your application for API security, you should minimum test against the Open Web Application Security Project Top 10 Security Checks. These checks include checks against authorization, authentication, data exposure, API rate limit, security misconfiguration and injection, and logging and monitoring. For instance, if you have used the password as uh, digits, or you are sending customer name in URL parameters, this qualifies as a security misconfiguration. Similarly, if the JWT authorization token can be decrypted and if it contains user information which can be used to log into the system and gain access, this qualifies as a broken user authentication type. So what are some of the best practices you should follow for API security design. I am sharing my views, but there can be many such perspectives on how can you make API secure and compliant. The first point is to limit data exposure. So this includes exposing only the required data, getting the data audited for compliance, not sharing PII data, and using unique identifier wherever applicable. Also, as a design practice, make a provision to encrypt the entire payload as part of your design as you never know that requirement may come handy based on regulations and client preference. The second point is to validate the input. So carry out the required validations prior to processing by the API implementation. The third thing is around using standardized authentication and authorization frameworks and processes. So use standard based authentication and authorization process and protocols like OAuth 2.0 and all frameworks like Spring Boot or cloud services like AWS Cognito or Google Firebase authentication provides these capabilities. The fourth option is around API management. So as a best practice this includes categorizing your APIs by business functions using specifications like open API, using the management capabilities to set the API limit, manage API keys, view logs and error rates, and getting visibility regarding the entire set of APIs. Now, if you're deploying on cloud, you could leverage API management services offered by all cloud vendors like AWS API Gateway or Google Endpoints or APG. Also, based on your application compliance requirement, you can also engage with third-party providers that provides penetration testing for your APIs. And the most important point is security should be by design and not an afterthought. So spend enough time understanding the security aspects of your application, how various systems access your application, what kind of authorization and authentication is required, identify various entry points to the application and the level of access required 
and finally logging, auditing and monitoring APIs for any anomaly and security events. Hope you found the information useful and the information provided can be a valuable asset to make your APIs secure and compliant. Please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Till then, have a great week and thank you for watching.